In this video, we will look at implicit differentiation. You will find this on page 495 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's start. Implicit differentiation. All the functions that we have differentiated so far have been of the form y equals fx or y equals some function of x, where y was the subject of the equation. These are called explicit functions, not implicit, explicit functions, because when we know x, we can calculate y directly. However, not all functions can be expressed in this form easily. For example, x squared plus xy plus y squared equals 10. Some functions of y and x equal something else. When a function is given as an equation connecting x and y, when x and y are intermixed, in, so it's mixed on one side, and where y is not the subject, it is called an implicit function. Now, the der um, derivative of each variable has to be taken. But when you take uh, the derivative of y, you must multiply by dy over dx. Okay, so you take every function, the derivative, if it's in terms of f, then you take that e towards x, x, and um, otherwise you take it towards y, but if you take it towards y, then you must multiply that term with dy over dx, but I'll show you now. Then, you make dy over dx the subject of the formula. You will make use of both the chain rule and the product rule. Okay, let's start. Let's look at an example. And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Find dy over dx of x squared plus y squared equals 4. Can you see it's mixed? So remember, take the derivative of each variable, but when you take the derivative of y, you must multiply by dy over dx. Okay, so this is in terms of x, so I say d over dx, and I and take the term, plus this is in terms of y, so it's d over dy, and there's the term. Um, and now, because as soon as I take d over dy, I must multiply, as I said, with this dy over dx. And this is just a constant, so I can just take it in terms of x or y. It actually don't get going to be a difference, but take it d, dx as 4. And now I do this. So if I der um, find the um, derivative of that, I get 2x. This is 2y, but remember that part that I multiply, and this is 0. And now I said make dy over dx the subject of the formula. So take that 2x over, then it becomes negative 2x. And then you divide by 2y, 2y both sides. And remember, 2y divide negative 2x, the 2's cancel, and it's negative. Oh, sorry, sorry, uh, my, my order was not correct there. Can I just make my order correct? It was negative 2x, maybe you picked it up. Divide by 2y, and then it was negative x over y. Okay, now this is just very interesting. In fact, we always done implicit differentiation because if you have a function like this, so as soon as you see y, you say d over dy, y, and as soon as you take d over dy, you multiply with dy over dx. And there is the x term, so it's d over dx, and this is x squared. And then if you simplify, remember, this is just 1, so this will become 1, multiply, there I showed you, dy over dx, and this is 2x. Okay, I showed you there. And then, basically, what did I do? So I said dy over dx, like I did previously, was 2x, and that's exactly what I got there. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I'm just going to give you the second one. You can try the first one and check the answer at the back or in the teacher's guide. But I, in this video, because it's a little bit longer, I will do the second one. Again, stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start. I'm first going to write it over. So, oh, sorry, I'm a little bit high. 
I'm going to write it over. So it's going to be x squared plus 2y squared plus 5x plus 6y and that's equal to 10. Okay. Now remember, I take every term, the, the derivative, if it's in terms of x, then I say d over dx, and then there's my term. If it's in term of y, then I say d over dy, and there's my term. And don't forget, if it's in term of that, I must multiply with dy over dx. Okay, can you remember? dy over dx. Okay, then... Um, Again, this is in terms of x, so it's d over dx. And there is the x, 5x. Okay, I'm just going to move it a little bit, otherwise my space is not enough. Okay, and then I see a y again, so it's d over dy. And the term is 6y, and I must also multiply with dy over dx. So I'm not having enough space. Okay, and then... Take this one, we keep to d over dx, and that's 10. Okay, now let's start. If I do this one, I will get 2x. If I do this one, I will get 4y, and it's dy over dx. If I do this one, I will just get 5. If I do this one, I will get 6, but don't forget your dy over dx. So always remember, and I'm just going to show you, there it is, and it's very important that it's still there in that step. Okay. okay so we are finished there, and a constant, what is a constant? Just zero. Okay, now keep these terms on this side. So 4y dy over dx plus 6 dy over dx and that's equal, and now bring the terms over, the negative 2x and the negative 5. Now take this out as a common factor. So dy over dx equals 4y plus 6. Sorry, let me just get that correct. And that's negative 2x minus 5. And then I divide by... 4y plus 6, and this side, 4y plus 6. So basically, my final answer, because this will cancel out, is just dy over dx equals negative, therefore, a negative 2x minus 5 over 4y plus 6. It's not very difficult. Okay. But first get used to it.